Hi, kids. I know that you are learning multiplication and the times tables, so I will show you several tricks that can make this easier. Oh, we like tricks. Great. Let's start with multiplication by 1. For example, let's multiply 4 by 1. First, think about what this means. It means that we will have one group of four items. So how many items do we have in total? Four. Yes, that's true. So, four times one is four. Now, let's think. What is six times one? Six. Sure, I think you've already understood the idea. Any number multiplied by 1 stays the same. I think you also remember that changing the order of numbers in multiplication doesn't change the answer. So it doesn't matter if 1 is the first or the second number. The answer always stays the same. Let's try one more problem. What is 1 times a million? It will be a million. Yes, I see you've understood it. So now let's look at multiplication by zero. Let's think what zero multiplied by three means. It means that we have three groups of nothing. What will it be in total? Nothing? Yes, sure. It will be nothing or zero. And what if we multiply zero by five? It's still nothing. Yes, no matter how many times we add nothing, the answer is always nothing. So, if zero is multiplied by any number, the answer is always zero. We also know that we can move numbers around and it doesn't change the answer. So, it doesn't matter where your zero is placed. If you just see the number zero as one of the numbers multiplied in your multiplication problem, then your answer is zero. So, kids, what is a million times zero? Zero! That's right. Let's repeat the tricks that we've learned today. The first trick is that any number multiplied by 1 stays the same. The second trick is that any number multiplied by 0 makes 0. I think that's enough for today. Next time, I will show you some more tricks. Hello, kids. Hello, Professor. Kids, today we'll discuss multiplication by 2. Let's look at the example. 7 times 2. What does this mean? It means we have two groups of 7 items, and so we need to add 7 2 times. That will be 7 plus 7. So what will the answer be? 14? Yes, that's true. Now let's look at 5 times 2. How would you solve this problem? 5 plus 5? Yes, and that is... 10! Great! You've understood the idea. Multiplication by 2 means that you just need to add the number twice. So you can always get the answer easily. 4 by 2 is the same as 4 plus 4. 8 by 2 is the same as 8 plus 8. 11 by 2 is the same as 11 plus 11. We also know that the order of numbers in multiplication does not change the answer, so it doesn't matter where 2 is placed. It can be first or second. We can still use this trick. Let's think about how to solve 20 times 2. Add 20 twice. And that will be... 40. You're right. So let's remember this simple trick. To multiply by 2, 
you just need to double the number. That's it for today. Next time, we'll discuss some tricks using multiplication by 5 and 10. Quick announcement, we have just released the Engaging Times Tables game to help kids memorize the times tables in a fun and engaging way. You can find the link to it in the description. Hello, kids. Good morning, Professor. Today, we'll learn some tricks using multiplication by 10 and 5. Let's start with multiplication by 10 and look at some examples. We know that 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times 10 is 30. 4 times 10 is 40. And 5 times 10 is 50. Have you noticed something interesting, kids? It looks like you just add a zero to the number that you multiply by 10. Yes, absolutely. You've found the trick. And I can say that it works for any number that you multiply by 10. You just need to add zero to it. So, let's try 20 times 10. What do you think the answer is? 200. Yes, and we all also know that the order of the numbers doesn't matter in multiplication, so this trick can still be used if 10 is the first number, too. 10 times 20 equals 200, and 20 times 10 equals 200. Let's try to solve another problem. What is 10 times 12? 120. Yes, that's it. I think you understand the trick. Yes, this is really helpful. Okay, now let's look at multiplication by 5. What is 6 times 5? It means that we need to add 6 5 times, but we've just learned the trick to multiplication by 10, so you can easily find the answer to adding 6 10 times. You know that 60. Now, what is 5 in comparison to 10? Is 5 half of 10? Yes, you got that. 5 is half of 10. So to multiply any number by 5, you could multiply it by 10 and then take half of that answer. Let's return to our example. The problem was, what is 6 times 5? First, we'll multiply 6 times 10. That's 60. Then we'll take half of 60. That's 30. So 6 times 5 is 30. Let's try one more problem. 12 times 5. We can easily figure out that 12 times 10 is 120. And then, what is half of 120? It's 60. Yes, that's right. So, 12 times 5 is 60. As always, we remember that the order of the numbers doesn't change the answer in multiplication. So, it doesn't matter if 5 is the first or the second number. This trick can still be used. Let's repeat the tricks we've learned. To multiply any number by 10, just add 0 to the number. To multiply a number by 5, you can multiply it by 10 and then take half of it. That's it for today. Next time, we'll learn some new tricks. Hello, kids. Hi, Hi Professor. Professor. Today, we'll continue to discover multiplication tricks, and we'll look at multiplication tricks by 9. I'll show you two different tricks. Either can be used to find the answer in multiplication. So, let's start with the first one. What is 7 multiplied by 9? 
it can be seen as nine groups of seven items. So to get the answer in multiplication, we need to add seven nine times. It doesn't look that easy. Oh, this isn't the whole trick yet. So to find the answer, we need to add seven nine times. And I agree with you, Kelly. It really doesn't look easy. But what can we do easily? We know how to easily add seven ten times. That'll be seven times ten, and that's seventy. So, we know the answer when adding ten sevens, but we need only nine in this problem. What can we do? Maybe subtract one seven? Yes, you're right. If you know the answer of adding ten sevens, but you need only nine sevens, you can subtract one seven from the answer. So it will be seventy minus seven, and that's sixty-three. So seven times nine is sixty-three. Let's summarize this trick. To multiply a number by nine, you can multiply it by ten and then subtract the number that you are multiplying by nine. Let's try several more examples. What is 5 multiplied by 9? 5 times 9 is 5 times 10 minus 5. 5 times 10 is 50. 50 minus 5 is 45. So 5 multiplied by 9 is 45. Kelly, try to solve 12 times 9. Well, 12 times 10 is 120, and then we need to subtract 12 from it. Hmm, 120 minus 12 is 108. So that means 12 times 9 is 108. Yes, that's right, Kelly, great job. Now, let's look at another way to multiply by 9. I call it the magic hands trick. To use this trick, put your hands straight out in front of you. Don't bend your fingers. Let's count your fingers from 1 through 10, starting from the left hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the right hand. Now, let's say that you would like to multiply 3 by 9. To do this problem, you need to fold down the finger of the number you want to multiply by 9. In this case, we need to fold down the third finger because we are multiplying 3 by 9. So, count the numbers on the left hand until you get to 3. Start on the left side of the hand. One, two, three. Fold that finger down. Now, let's count the number of fingers to the left of the folded finger. That will be the first digit in the answer. In this case, we have two fingers to the left of the folded finger. So we put two in the tens place for the answer. Now, let's count the number of fingers to the right of the folded finger. That will be the second digit in the answer. There are seven fingers to the right, two fingers on the left hand, and a whole hand of fingers on the right. So, we put the seven in the ones spot. As a result, we have found that we know what nine times three is. It's 27. Now, let's multiply seven by nine. To do this, we'll fold down the seventh finger. So now we have six unfolded fingers to the left of the folded finger and three unfolded fingers to the right. So the answer to seven times nine is 63. Let's try another example. Nine multiplied by nine. We fold down the ninth finger and count the fingers to the left and then to the right of the folded finger. 
it will be eight fingers to the left and one finger to the right. So the answer is 81. Please remember that this trick can only be used to multiply numbers up to 10 times 9. It can't be used to find the answer to bigger numbers like 11 times 9, 12 times 9, and so on. If the number you are multiplying the 9 by is bigger than 10, you can use the first trick that I showed you. Let's repeat what we've learned today. To multiply a number by 9, you can use two different tricks. You can multiply the number by 10 and then subtract the number one time. Or, if the number is less than 10 that you are multiplying the 9 with, you can also use the magic hands trick to find the answer. As always, you should remember that the order in which you multiply the numbers does not change the answer, so it doesn't matter if the 9 is the first or the second number in the problem. The tricks work either way. I think that's enough for today. Next time, I will show you some more tricks. Hi! If you think that memorizing the times tables is boring, then we have great news for you. You can start a journey to learn the times tables together with our characters through some fun and interesting adventures. You can find a link to our engaging times tables game in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed our video and want to see new ones, like and subscribe. Bye for now!